So today I've got something a little bit special. It's brought back a lot of memories for me, and that's the very first DJI drone, the DJI Phantom, or as known as the DJI Phantom 1. Now the DJI Phantom 1 came out in 2013. That's when I bought mine. Unfortunately, I bought two of them because I lost both of them. I'm just going to give you a little bit of spill about the Phantom first. So it came out in 2013. I think it came out just after the summer. Uh, the total weight of the takeoff drone was 1,200 1, grams or just over a kilo. So it's pretty heavy drone, but not that heavy. Not like to some of the other drones we've got, them, especially the Mavic Pro and things like that. Now the controller, completely different. I'll show you the drone and the controller in a moment. But the controller had seven channels at a distance of 100 meters, if that, to be honest. And in the control, it took four AA batteries. Uh, and the battery was a LiPo. What I've done, I've charged up the battery. The controller is fully charged. Um, and what we're going to see in a moment is just how well it flies. I'm, I'm, I haven't tried it out yet, so it's going to be pretty amazing if it works. I bought the, the drone off eBay for about 150 euros. Come with it brand new bag which i'll show you in a moment i'm just going to get a bit more of the spill so the dji first consumer drone release was the dji phantom or phantom one was dji's first ready to fly drone system that included an internal gps system for stable reliable flights which made piloting easier and safer the first phantom only had flight time of less than 10 minutes and that's true um Less than 10 minutes, I'm just reading off there, less than 10 minutes. It did not come with a camera. Uh, users had to mount a GoPro camera or another sort of smaller camera underneath. The, now I've taken the bracket off the camera, but what I will do at the end of the video, I'll show you some footage that I've done back in 2013. <laughs> um, the video foot and lightweight camera didn't come with it, blah de blah. The video footage is very shaky. Um, because there's no gimbal attached to it. So, and that was its only problem. Uh, the other thing was, if you want to take photographs, you RV, you put on your GoPro and had it on photo, so it was continuous photographs, or you either had it on video continuous. Obviously, don't forget, guys, it never came with an app. You couldn't see what you was doing other than keeping visual line of sight on the drone itself. And to be quite honest, I think it's a, a for first, if you haven't been flying drones, well worth getting. I think it gives you some flying skills because you obviously got to keep an eye on the drone. You move it left and right, just like you would do with the newer drones. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do in a moment, I'm going to get set, set up the drone. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that comes with it. So like I said, it came with a brand new bag, which was a bonus for me because the previous bag I had I'd already thrown it away because it wasn't much good. So I've got a brand new bag. Obviously, I haven't got everything what I had was sent to me because um, I left some of that stuff behind. It was just bits of cable and nuts and bolts and things like that. So obviously, I've got the drone, I've got the controller. So there's the controller. If you notice, it's completely different. It's just got one area on the top there. And you've just got a, a power on and obviously your sticks. And these control things at the top which have got to be got to be <laughs> at the top there so let's just get it out of the the case so this is the drone now if i can remember rightly that this this is the light this is the, the sort of the warning light if it's red or gr if it's red then you ca it can't fly but if it if it, once that goes green i can take off now at the front even though this is the back this is where this is where the battery will go uh, and you push it in there it's a bit of a palaver I must say and the camera you can just see the bracket there um, fits underneath there but I've left the camera off I've got loads of footage of this from this drone but obviously not from this drone but I will show you in a moment now, another thing that I did have problems with was this box once you've got the battery in there it had a habit of unclipping itself 
and the battery used to fall out. So I used to put elastic band there to hold that in, but this, this feels pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put on the props, uh, put the battery in, and then we get ready to fly. And just to prove it, this is, <laughs> that's the, uh, the Mini 3. So a little bit different, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure so I could fit that underneath. I mean, to be honest, I could probably get that to lift it off, but I'm not. But it just shows you the slight, you know, what it's gone from 2013 to 2022. So we're talking nine years. Uh, amazing achievement from this to what we got now. So I'm gonna put on the props. Now they're, they're a lot smaller than the uh, standard, but also still color coordinated. And I'll be honest, I can't remember. I mean, I've got a little spanner here as well. So they're anti-clockwise. So these are be clockwise. And he's giving me a spanner here. Um, let's have a look if I remember rightly. So we just, that's it. We just put that spanner in between the motors there. If anybody's got one, they're thinking about getting one. Can you still get hold of them? Obviously, uh, eBay seems to be the main place where you can get them. You can't obviously buy them off YouTube anymore now. Not YouTube. Can't buy them off DJI anymore now. Now the next fiddly bit, believe it or not, is just getting this battery in. So you've got to get the, the cable out, put it, connect it together. Hello, it's come on already. That's interesting. I think I can remember that now. All right, so it's all in. So this is the original Phantom battery, about 10 minutes of life. We'll see if that's true as well. So now we just sort of push it in there um i can always remember this being a bit of a problem so that's ready the controller i'll turn that on as well and just see what happens with the lights so we're just waiting now obviously i was told it's already flashing there so it's 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 red it's green okay so i think we're ready to go um the sticks the switches are up You've got a member. Here's your antenna. Uh, the controller's on. It's, it's, it is, it's sort of going from red to green. We'll see what happens. So, on the landing pad, I'm going to step back a little bit. Now, if it, I remember rightly, when it used to take off, and you just got to push the sticks in. It's not doing that. I looked on YouTube um, and what I had to do, I had to calibrate it first to get the satellites apparently. And that could be another reason why I didn't want to take off because um, I pushed the sticks in and it didn't take off. But, so what I had to do, because <laughs> as soon as you connect the battery to the drone, it already turns itself on and it goes through a system of uh, green and red lights. And then what I had to do then was flick this uh, S1 switch up and down about four times and then it went sort of orange. And then I had to do the calibration. So I did a clockwise, push it out in front of me. And then when it went green, I faced it downwards, did the same again, it flashed. So hopefully, it's still not working. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, now it, and to me, I got a horrible feeling is to do the GPS. If there's not enough satellites there, it won't take. I might be wrong. And so if anybody is watching, so I bought myself a dud phantom. I don't know. I, I got a feeling it's not enough GPS signals because I know I had, the, I had the same problem when I had the Vision Plus. If you get lower than five satellites, it ain't gonna take off. And I got a feeling because I can't know control. So anyway, but to me, it's more about, I've got the drone. I've, I've lost two in the past. 
I've now got this dry. I'll just try it again. There's nothing there. <laughs> you know. I will have another go, but I just thought I'd just show you guys. I wanted it to fly, really. <laughs> but anyway, what I will do, I will put up some footage that I took, used when I was back in the UK with this drone. I still love it. I still want it. I'm still going to keep it. But I will do a bit more research and just to see, because um, I know there is a light code and I didn't bring out the instructions. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a downer really, isn't it? But as always, anyway, I'm going to put up some footage now uh, and I'll catch you on, on another one. Hopefully I'll we'll do another Fat and One video, but it's just not going to happen, is it? And don't forget, I've only got 10 minutes of life. <laughs> you know, I'm not even flying it. 